Hello everyone, welcome back to the Console Gaming League. I am Joker's Ransom, he is Chef Billy, and we've got an NA Console Open Tier matchup ready for the happening. We've got Strawberry versus Nyx. You know, I remember talking to Blueberry when we did the picking show, and, and we really didn't have much, uh, much, much to say about anybody other than Red Team. Uh, as far as competition, and you know, there was some there was some back and forth between uh, the representative of Nix and Blueberry. So I'm down to see what's going to go down today. Uh, I, I think this is going to be a pretty straightforward match, if I'm quite honest, uh, because I mean Blueberry is Blueberry and Strawberry is Strawberry, and they are a pretty damn strong team uh, led by Flight. And uh, well, we'll see what they get done. So we're going to take a look at our bracket uh, and see how things are going to show. Uh, shake down here uh red team getting the 3-0 on our first day you and i covered that match that was a very comprehensive yeah. uh straightforward 3-0 victory and then dark sun taking down magnolia avenue that was the last pick of the of the of the uh the picking show it just came out uh the way in the wash so uh looking at strawberry and nicks here i mean there's a potential uh for a uh for an upper semis clash between the number one and number two seeds here in uh in the uh console open tier so i mean joshua i don't know about you but i mean we've seen some faces here that we recognize that, that have been standbys here in the cgl for quite some time and we got some new faces as well yeah definitely uh, uh mainly on that strawberry roster if you want to take a look at that here and now we've got um mio and benzi on that dps line then we got scarlet Manning that tank roll, then water and light on the support line. And uh, the more recognizable names I feel for Strawberry are on the bench. You've got Scoldy and Honey Dip rounding out that roster. Yep. Uh, I mean, there, there, there's some serious firepower on this Strawberry lineup. And, uh, well, you know, Knicks are going to be up against the wall here uh, and trying to fight their way tooth and nail to get themselves uh, into the next round of the winner's bracket. I, I, we'll see how they do. We'll take a look at the lineup that's going to try and do that up against this Strawberry team. And it's going to be Pyro, 300. I think this is a hilarious name. Raw Dogger, uh, Zorito, and Kylo here on the support. And, I mean, I'm looking at 300 uh, to kind of lead the way right now, especially, you know, with how uh, we, we see these teams really pushing forward. I mean, it's, like, we'll see if they actually can push uh, and get their work done. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, I think that... There just might be a little bit too much in the tank coming from Strawberry uh, for this next squad to uh, to line up with, but we'll see. I mean, anything can happen on any given day here in the Overwatch uh, in the Overwatch universe. And well, we're going to start out by looking at what maps we're going to, and we're going to start on the standby. It's everybody's favorite. I mean, really, is there any other control map to start on, Joshua? Um, yes. There, there are three others, but uh, <laughs> Li Zhang Tower is going to be the choice. And I mean, like you said, it is the old standby. Busan's not in the map pool. So this is where you're going to go uh, to start things off. Unless you're one of those wacky teams that have wacky compositions for other maps here. Um, but everyone loves a good Li Zhang Tower. And that's where, I mean, where, where else to start? Real. Absolutely real there. Uh, and, you know, we're just waiting for the teams to uh, give us the ready up here so we can go ahead and get into our first la uh, in, in our first map. Well, it's going to be Lee Zhang Tower. Uh, I mean, look, you, you've got your you've got your standards. you got Control Center. You like to go Brawly there. Mm -hmm. Then you got Night Market where Symmetra and or a Pharmacy uh, combo could work. Um, and then you've got Gardens where... You know, uh, more than trying to take space, you're trying to flex and get the environmentals, especially on Garden. So, I mean, we'll see. I, I think Strawberry is going to come out here and just flex. Hopefully, it's a workman like a uh, black atmosphere here. They want to get themselves uh, good and hale and hearty and just get themselves through this first round matchup, you know, and get ready for the later matches that are coming down the line because, you know, <laughs> their shining glory of the season was getting reverse swept by Red Team. Yeah, that was an unfortunate happening during <laughs> uh, the, uh, I believe, the stage one playoffs, and uh, yep. uh, they don't. They're looking for that revenge in any way, shape, or form, trying to knock that red team down to the lower brackets. But obviously, they have to get through two teams before that, and that's where they start off with. They have Knicks in their sights. 
can they make that a victory and move on to that next round? I mean, it's kind of shocking that they're in the same side of the bracket um, so early on. Uh, I mean, winners, winners semi, I, you would expect them to meet up in maybe the winner's final. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, that's how I would have set up the bracket, but I think they randomly generated it uh, and it just happened as it lied. So uh, a little bit unfortunate for everybody out there. It's one of the two teams is going to go down to the lower bracket, obviously. And well, I'm anticipating a, a red team strawberry grand final, um, but we'll see how the rest of the, uh, how the rest of the, uh, bracket shakes out i think that we've got one or two good upsets in us here joshua I, I think that we've got the potential for you know a couple of five map series uh we'll see how this actually comes down we're going to actually start out here on control center here on lijong tower and we're going to see what these two teams are going to be able to bring uh, as far as compositions junker queens was listed uh, as favorite tanks for both these teams. And I would not hate to see a little bit of Aussie on Aussie violence coming here. Uh, and what is my favorite of the three sub maps here in China? Yeah, I'm really excited to see what these two teams are going to bring out. And we'll see in this next couple of seconds. And hey, right now, I I'm liking that Zarya pick. We I, I saw it yesterday with Ray against uh, in that. Guardia Astral versus Arkin uh, matchup where Guardian Guardia Astral got the upset with the Zarya composition. Uh, if they can play it well, that can bode very uh, dangerous for Nyx. Archeon won yesterday? No. Over Guardia Astral did. Guardia Astral beat Archeon. Wow. 3 0. Okay. I mean, there was a lot of smack talking going on during the picking show on that one, too. Okay. Well. Uh, the teams have joined here, and it's going to be a Bastion. Uh, it's going to be a, a Sojourn Bastion set up, set up, set up here, coming from Nix and Strawberry. Uh, yeah, I mean you're going to be able to move around, but really, what is the Sims' uh, job here, other than to make uh, transporting around a little bit easier? Yeah, uh, definitely the case. We're going to be able to set up here if you are uh, water whenever you can get the chance. Now the go signs there. Scarlet's so charged up. Zarita's now gone, and this is what Strawberry were waiting for. As Mio is going to be the one to get the most kills in that fight. Take down Nyx and get this first capture. I mean, the healing was so good. The movement from water here on the Symmetra was absolutely picture perfect as well. I mean, and just the maintaining high charge. I mean, that's going to be the real benchmark here is how good is Scarlet maintaining above a 50% charge. Yeah, I mean, if you're not, you're kind of throwing on Zarya. But right now we're seeing Scarlet doing well. The Photon Barrier, though, going to be the first thing they invested early on. And while they're burning down players on the side of Nyx already, is Strawberry forcing back them to spawn. Flight's going to get one. Damn. And Scarlet gets Raw Dogger out of the fight thanks to the help of Benzie's Maywalk. I mean, we're talking about maintaining high charge. Well, 100% yeah. is about as high as you can go. Uh, they're going to have a graviton surge in this next fight with a couple of uh, with a couple of alt fires here coming from uh, Scarlet. You've also got this uh, app matrix ready to go. I mean, we're at 50% and counting, and you've just now gotten your answering app matrix up from 300. Yeah, uh, we got some swaps coming in. Pyro's gone over to the Sojourn. Zarita's taking up the uh, bastion roll here now but they're running into amp matrixes and now there comes the graviton surge and Skyler's just gonna find two picks right off the back of it trying to get that right click on the raw dogger but it is gonna be flight getting that pick up as uh, zarita is the lone bastion left on point i mean they do invest the uh, the amp matrix into that I'm, I'm kind of surprised that they did uh they could have hold on, held on to it i mean that's a damn good great kill there from scarlet on the pyro and I mean, they're just flexing their their brawn here on the Knicks. Knicks doesn't really have an answer uh, for what Scarlet and team are doing. Yeah, as uh, now they've got to get into this. There's the terror search coming out from Raw Dogger, but the uh, May Ultimate, the Blizzard, on point, and Zarita's gone. The Salamir just doesn't seem to be enough. They are going to get to contest on the point thanks to Kylo, but it's just not going to be enough there. Skylo takes them down, and Strawberry takes round number one. Absolutely fabulous coming out from Strawberry. I mean, that is as clean as you get. And, you know, I was worried about maybe a little bit of hanky-panky going on here. Maybe a little bit not taking your opponent seriously. Uh-uh. 
they are absolutely going full bore here. They want to get this done and over with and, and you know, uh, celebrate their Friday night and have some fun. Knicks, uh, I think that they need to really uh, bunker down here uh, and, you know, get their communication up. It, it looked like they were fighting almost on two separate fronts at times, Joshua, mm -hmm. where you were trying to send Zarita on a little bit of a sneakier uh, sneakier path out there with Kylo, uh, but just wasn't able to uh, to uh, confirm the, the kills. So I, I, I want to see a little bit more out of them. Also, Rob Dogger's got to think that the Scarlet Zarya is coming. You might want to go with the Sigma here. Yeah, they've got to figure something out. Like you said, uh, Arissa, not really the best hero to go against Zarya, especially one that's doing so much work like Scarlet is right now. See if that can change into this next portion of Li Zhang Tower as the fight's already breaking out on point and so much damage is already coming out from Strawberry. Two's gone down and more to follow from Nyx as that is going to be Strawberry yet again taking a fight. That is absolutely emphatic coming from them. And Strawberry, yeah, like I said, they, they're, they're a well-oiled machine right now. They know exactly what they want to do and how they want to do it. And, I mean, if you're looking at Zarita, I mean, the, the Bastion just isn't working right now. They're, they're LOSing away from when the wheels go down. Uh, Benzie over to the Tracer now. So this is a bit of a change here. Uh, they want to get into that back line and really make Kylo and 300's life hell. Oh, Zarita already so low. <laughs> Benzie swap over to the Tracer, working out well, taking that cr crucial threat out of the fight. The artillery strike in the meantime finds two of their own. And that's Strawberry with a team kill yet again. All right. Um, well, let's figure this out. Muted. Oh, okay. I was muted. My my mic muted itself. Dang it! It happens from time to time. The AEL Gato. It's, it's an old one. It's a Project Wave. But uh, I mean, you know, we're looking to see if they're maybe going to go with the Big Bang combo here. They've got the Pulse Bomb online. They just need to get the grab. Yeah, but well, the Pulse Bomb's going to be invested early on. They had had a huge one if it was not for the Immortality Field. But in it's not going to really matter in the end. Scarlet is so high charged on this point. It's just beaming down enemies left and right. I mean, that's just filthy. That's just mean. Uh, now you've got the Gravity Surge into this fight. I mean, they're just really being very economic with their with their ultimates here uh, on Garden. And I mean, look at Raw Dog. Only 73%. Mm -hmm. To uh, Terra Surge, you've got the App Matrix. That'll help you get it uh, the rest of the way there. But, I mean, 300 needs to place this in a spot where Strawberry can't LOS for the effects of it. Oton Bear coming out. Ooh, and a nice little grab placement there, you know? Not going to get any value from that App Matrix because of it. And now uh, they have this opportunity to keep this hold, but losing water there early on is not what you wanted to see. The Terra Surge comes through, only finds the Immortality Field, but it looks like Nyx has finally made the picks necessary to get things into their favor with clean the point cleaning up. Well, Scarlet is somewhere uh, in a lot of trouble. Actually gets out with their charge. The Immortality Barrier, they were like five health, maybe. Beautiful work there from uh, Scarlet to maintain that charge. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, up to 14% now. They all have these two ultimates on line for Nyx to hold on. And Zarita finds out water. The Sound Barrier now being invested, getting into the fight. But the Pulse Bomb Stick is there. That can change this entire fight. They weren't able to find any picks with that Sound Barrier. And now they're just running for their lives, trying to stay alive, trying desperately to not go down the boob goes in they get over to the side but hey it's not what matters roast it matters is that strawberry has got the points on the uh, the picks on the point and the overtime bar ticking away now that is that the first map goes to strawberry i mean signs of life there finally for nix uh so maybe they uh maybe they got their 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 uh their early game jitters their first game of the playoffs jitters out of the way Water and company getting it absolutely done. And I, I think the Tracer Swap was one of the biggest impactful uh, swaps that we saw come through. Water didn't care. Uh, sure. Water got a lot of work done there for them. So uh, Strawberry, feeling very, very uh, good about themselves right now. Uh, reminder that it is the higher seed that picks the first map. Mm -hmm. uh, then after that, it is losers pick for it the rest of the way. We do have a map pool uh, that they have to choose from. So we'll see. Uh, what Nix is is wanting to do here. I mean, it's been a traditional 
throughout my years in the CGL, uh, especially here lately. Uh, Li Zhang goes into King's Row. I don't know if that's going to happen right now, but, uh, you know, the hybrid map usually goes to London. Yeah, that usually is the case. Um, I mean, obviously, there are other choices that you can go to. Blizzard World Hollywood and Numbani are all also options, but doesn't seem to be what's going to be happening. We'll tell you what it's going to be in a second. As now, we've got the... Uh, anyway, there, we were, I was just waiting for the map pool screen to come on. We've got King's Row, obviously, going to be the choice here. I mean, we got Hippie. Uh, we got Rhino. Uh, in the back, in the back room, make sure that we are all good and taken care of. Uh, they're making us look as good as they can, obviously. And little Joe as well. Uh, we got some BPL people up in here tonight, and we got Hippie, uh, and we got Rhino. So uh, keeping us in line, keeping us looking good, keeping uh, the flow of information going out there on all the beautiful images that we are getting out here. So King's Row, uh, you know, I, I hope to see a Reinhardt. Uh, or a Sigma come out here because the, the the Orisa just was not cutting it up against Scarlet's Zarya. Yeah, it definitely was not. It was not at all. I, like you said, Sigma probably the best choice to go in unless you want to you know, mirror the uh, the Zarya uh, into Scarlet, or maybe Ooh. even maybe even a Reinhardt, perhaps. I wouldn't mind. I would not mind seeing Reinhardt here, honestly. I, I think that it's fantastic pick uh, to take out. Uh, you just got to, you know, manage your own cooldowns. You got to be able to withstand the storm uh, of concentrated pressure onto your shield. Uh, I mean, it's the same thing that Sigma does. It's just Sigma uh, can, uh, you know, tuck his in the back pocket, use the accretion, use the kinetic grasp, you know, to kind of buy some time mm -hmm. uh, for that experimental barrier to build back up. So I think that uh, that's why I think Sigma is actually is supreme right now is because it can manage up against a Rosa, it can manage up against a Junker Queen, and it can uh, manage up against a Zarya. So, uh, you know, the Dutch tank could be the way to go. It could be a, a route to the salvation that Nyx is desperately wanting to find here. Well, they need to find it pretty quickly here, Billy, because obviously this is a best of, or sorry, a first two, three. And uh, you do not want to go down 2-0. Oh, this is the map you desperately need to take if you are Nyx here and now. But, I mean, again, uh, if they don't, there is still always those three other maps. We could see that reverse sweep. But, again, it's just so difficult to pull yourself back from getting dismantled from those first two maps. <laughs> and then trying to get that reverse sweep. Um, it's almost impossible. Almost, but not quite. Uh, I, I think that we'll take a look and see uh, uh, how this will go down. Uh, I'm trying to trying to look back through, you know, the picks and how they came in, why they came in the way they did. Um, and I, I remember uh, hearing a, a couple of the uh, hearing a couple of the captains uh, in the mid in the mid range here for uh, for this console open, saying that there's a definite like a tear break. Um, in the console, like it begins around like Strawberry uh, and teams above them uh, are like a, a definitive step above. Mm -hmm. And then there's like this middle area like where Blue Team lays and it kind of goes down to Dark Sun and then you got Short Bus and Archeon. Uh, and, you know, last, I mean, like you said, last night, the surprise happened. Archeon uh, taking down Guardia Astral. Uh, and flip, I mean, Guardia oh, Astral. Guardia Astral taking down Archeon. I mean, they're your eight seed. Yeah. Uh, and they get booted down to the lower bracket. So, I mean, we're talking about these 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 tier breaks here in the, in the console open tier. I mean, red team, I mean, they're showing why they're so high up. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't really bet against red team at the moment. I mean, they're just, they're that team. They're them, you know. It's, uh, <laughs> it, it's... It's kind of hard unless someone comes out and gets them on a bad day. I'm expecting them to win this, but hey, I'll be pleasantly surprised if that's not the case. Um, with the with the decline of blue team, red team coming back in into everything, uh, um, and becoming the new uh, end all be all console team, um, is nice to see. We have some dichotomy now. I mean, it was. Uh, a little <laughs> after about like two years of blue team just winning everything it's nice that we have a, you know i mean it's still a team named after a color but hey a different one 
It is. It is. I, I like it. I like it. I, I like uh, where the metal lies. I like, you know, I don't play very much console anymore, but I mean, it seems to be following the same trends that we yeah. see in PC, uh, where the meta is very fluid, especially at the highest levels of the game. I mean, these are the best here in console. And, uh, you know, going back to where we saw the contenders team go up against the console team, um, they're on J3 stream. Uh, the way that the metal lies now, I mean, even a couple months on from that, it's even more fluid now. Yeah, uh, no, I definitely have to agree with you there. Um, and it, it also just lies with a lot of the top uh, console players now are also playing in PC. It, it is, or at least from the CGL standpoint, I don't know. Yeah. A uh, console player and the, or whatever plays a PC as well. But uh, yeah, that we've seen a great movement coming in from the the old, like the old guard of CGL those top players going over to PC and doing well. Um, but we'll, we can talk about those later. We could talk about them for days on end if we really needed to. But uh, right now it is Nick's on the defense. Strawberry opting to go into the attack here, Billy, to try to push this objective. And while well, they are starting to push it, forcing back Nick's for the time being, and now going to be putting pressure on the point. The uh, Zarya ma Mira matchup is coming in for both of these two teams here. We'll see how it works. Scarlet getting that charge up already. So is Raw Dogger, though. So they're going to be have to be a little bit careful of that Zarya for the time being. The rotation is still coming in. Raw Dogger is alone, and Water is almost able to snipe them out. The focusing beam coming through, just able to get away, get some healing onto them. As uh, now the. No one's rotating the point. Wait, they, they got the point. They got their point uh, presence now. Finally getting that uh, presence on the point. But um, it's still just uh, a uh, back and forth, a stalemate right now. I mean, it's it's the immortality barrier uh, that's really keeping things going on here for uh, for Nyx. And I mean, Zarita, you can see right there, getting Ooh. the massive, yep, the massive amount of, uh, of damage going through. Yeah, that's a huge Scarlet going down. They did get that first point of capture, though. Uh, but Nyx now are back into the driver's seat. Question mark. Now Water finds out Zarita. And that's just going to have to be a bro uh, back rotation from Nyx. Kylo's so low as well. Can they get the pick? Yes, Water goes down. Now going to get that copy onto the Sojourn just to stay alive. But that's going to force back. Back next for the time being, allowing Strawberry to get to the point, forcing them back here as uh, we get our nice little view of the point there. And that is going to be Strawberry taking the first point. Absolutely massive uh, trans uh, duplicate there that came out from uh, from water. I mean, yes, it, they did adjust to save their life, but the pressure is already being laid in there, Joshua. So, uh, you know, I, I take that uh, twice on Sunday. And I mean, they've got a free, and I talk about free, uh, Graviton Surge coming up here. Kylo does have the sound barrier to respond, but I think that you could layer this in with that artillery strike if there's not enough shielding in the world to save you from that. Yeah, that would be very difficult to deal with. But hey, Bob's going to be coming out from Benzie, just forcing back. Oh, wow. That <laughs> not going to be forcing many things, but now the Graviton Surge is just going to oh be my massive. God. Benzie just lighting up the shots into the Surge, taking everyone down. Water cleans up the last two as Sawberry takes that team kill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Yadavna, uh, as Zarya would say. Holy cow. And you know what? Putting the Bob out there from Benzie first forces that immortality barrier out. And once that was done, they saw it out there. It was go time. They all pressed Y and it was done. Yeah, great team play coming in here. We do have the Tree of Life available for the Strawberry if they do need so. Um, oh, and there's that Ooh. combination you were talking about. That artillery strike right into the Graviton Surge. Finds two out. And uh, Nyx comes all the way back quite quickly. I mean, it, the big thing is, is that they, you know, they do invest the uh, duplicate once again from water, uh, second, I mean, two fights, and they got that up, but uh, they hold on to both their support ultimates here, so this is actually going to really play into their favor, uh, and we're going to look and see, uh, you know, what does Scarlet get done around here, the, the, you know, the management of the bubbles, so very important. Yeah, it really is, it really is indeed, we'll see how 
Uh, this goes underway. Raw Dogger and uh, Scarlet fighting on the point, trying to vie for position. Who can get that beam for a little bit longer? But there comes Ultimates out, and the overclock takes down Mio. The Tree of Life was invested uh, there in the way, and it's going to help them uh, get some picks into their favor. They can't really peek out, though. But in the end, uh, Water wraps around the back, takes 300 out from that uh, high ground, and then um, Strawberry well, wins the fight. Uh, no chance for a recontest here. It'd be a fool's. Uh, it would be a fool's errand if they decided to do it. And I mean, just maintaining charge, maintaining positioning, but it did cost both their support ultimates at three thirty-five as we enter into the foundry here. Benzi swapping over to the Widowmaker. I like this swap. It gives you the ability to reposition and, of course, the one-shot potential. Yeah, uh, both of these uh, teams opting for the Widowmaker here. Billy, you're going to get a little bit of Widowmaker 1v1, it looks like. Benzi and Pyro looking for each other. And, well, go! You get grapple up too far, and Py Benzi takes Pyro's head clean off. And now, uh, Strawberry can ingress without really having to worry about too much. As Rod Dogger's now down, Scarlet just did that 100 charge. is just going to beam down everyone in their sights as Strawberry keeps pushing forward. I mean, you hold on to the grab. So, I mean, once again, we, we've got great ultimate management coming out here from Strawberry. Uh, you're looking for the duplicate kit to come up as well. They're looking. They know it's coming around. The grab's going to come out. Yeah, grab comes out, locks them up. And that might be it. It is going to be that. Uh, no one going to be able to touch thanks to the grab coming out from Scarlet as uh, Strawberry completes all three points. I tell you what, I, this right now is just a difference of, of ultimate management, mm -hmm. uh, knowing being very economic with their usage, uh, knowing that they can you know lose a fight uh, and then come back with their with their uh, ultimate advantage uh, and really put their opponent into a de deficit, making them force those cooldowns, force those deployables out. And Nyx uh, is really right now. This is a two minute thirty eight time bank and reminder. They lost a couple of fights, yeah. so that's how strong Strawberry is pushing through here, uh, and we, we see it. Uh, I mean, Water and Scarlet playing so well in tandem offensively. We'll see what comes out here for the uh, for the defense, and uh, well, we might have some swapping up here. We might have uh, the Builder Battalion coming out here from Strawberry, and this is going to be a little bit more interesting for me. You know, you're going to have uh, a lot of, of angle. Uh, you're going to have some some really good space taking and space denying ultimates as well as damage mitigation. Uh, and then, you know, the burst healing uh, of the Moira coming out here for strawberry. This is actually going to look, uh, look a little bit different than what we have been seeing here so far. Uh, in the season number seven here in overwatch two, uh, Mio, uh, had a pretty good life. Weaver. I have to mm -hmm. say kind of died a little bit more than I would have liked, but you know what? I mean, that's just GG's from Nixon taking down the, the opposite dealer. Yeah, um, now Nyx, uh, keeping with what was kind of working well for him. They've got uh, still the Zarya in uh, in response to the other team Zarya. We'll see how it works. They've already kind of flipped the script, though. They're taking this defensive positioning away from Strawberry, and it's going to work out. Hey, they take it a flight out, and now Benzie's all alone. This is going to be a really quick capture from Nyx here. Yeah, I mean, that's hubris. Uh, this composition was pure hubris. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we see the swaps already in spawn. They're going back over to the Echo and to the uh, Sojourn. So uh, we'll see if Flight decides to stay with the Moira or not. There is escapability uh, and there is good burst healing. But I think that if you're going to run with this uh, to make sure the Scarlet can, can maintain that charge, you got to have uh, that Baptiste with the, mm -hmm. with the Immortality Barrier, with that regenerative burst and with the, with the raw output of healing. Uh, and I mean, Nick's, I mean, they're, they're sticking with their guns here and, you know, uh, they get the first point. Yeah, no, and a very quick first point in that 530 on the clock. No, obviously that has uh, dissipated somewhat, but not too much just yet. Uh, as uh, Scarlet is quite alone, a nice uh, life grip though, keeping them out of trouble for too long. But well, you can't life grip everyone away. Benzie and Water are now gone, and the uh, full sale reset has to come out from Strawberry. Oh, you're in trouble. Danger, yep. danger. Yep, flight. Uh, I mean, th th once again, I, I say it again. Uh, you've got to go into these matchups, uh, especially here in the open tier. Uh, anything above Masters, you have to go into these competitions and these matches uh, with a workman-like 
uh, process. You can't go in there and, and, and screw around because this is what happens. Nyx is going to have a ton in the bank. Yeah, uh, they've got to figure it out. The copy has come in from water onto the Bastion, trying to get some, uh, oh, and they are going to get the artillery strike out. I, I don't think I've actually heard that artillery strike out voice line from Echo. That was fun. That was fun indeed. And it's going to work out well for Strawberry as uh, they take out, uh, take or force Nyx to reset. I mean, really, this is like the uh, the, the first real uh, fight that they've won yeah. uh, on the defense. So, oh uh, gosh, don't run in that small room. Not with a high, not with a at least medium charged uh, Zarya. But I mean, Graviton Surge here for Strawberry. This is going to at least buy them some time uh, and see what they can get done with this overclock. Benzi running super low. There's the healing coming through. Yeah, uh, flight. Um in the back line, uh, flanking Moira from the back with the Coalescence coming out, but they're just going to be taken down by 300. Water is going to pump in some chip damage, and hey, it's going to help out with Benzie's uh, overclock finding Pyro down. They are going to be able to pay, uh, keep things going, even though they lost a flight so early. They had to invest everything. Oh, I mean, everything had to come out there yeah. uh, just to stop the uh, just to stop the bleeding. I mean, that's like a whole entire pack of cotton balls that had to stop the bleeding there. And now they've got this sound barrier or they've got this graviton surge that can lock them up. We're still on the Moira here. Yeah. So, I mean, you don't have the coalescence to burst through that. I mean, wow, this is this is ballsy, uh, even for strawberry. Yeah, this is going to be, oh man, Mio's down. You're done. Yeah, that probably, they might not even need to invest. If they can get this grab out though, from Strawberry, that w or sorry, from Nyx, that would be huge for the defense that Strawberry is looking to put on. But they get the touch there. Charlotte is there on the point. Can they buy time? Point one, no. They get off for too long and now uh, Nyx has another... Four, now four minutes to go and you're going to take Benzie and Scarlet down and that is just going to be more cart progress without really any contest uh, you, you hate to see it but I mean good kudos on Nyx for being able to uh, to get it done uh, they're able to execute uh, on this composition and we see Flight now swapping over to uh, that uh, so or to that Baptiste and well Water looking very worse for where they need to get the heels out yeah, they've got to indeed. Pyro's already take on water. Raw Dog does miss their Graviton Surge. So that is huge, but everyone's in this tight little room. And well, Raw Dog is so high charged right now. It's going to be so hard to stay alive. The Immortality Field coming out from flight. The copy on to the Bastion. You've got to get the touch there. Three minutes to go. Scarlet goes down to a right click. This is not good at all. Artillery Strike has to be massive. There's still an opportunity, though, for Strawberry to hold on. They need a pick and they need it now. Ben He's so low, needs to stay alive. The re uh, change over to the Wrecking Ball from Scarlet to keep things going. Can they get a boob? Can they make a difference? But Stardy out of this fight. And while they get off for uh, just a second, as Nyx completes all three points. Oh, the seven second difference. So, I mean, we're going to have ult rotations here. We're, mm -hmm. we're, this is not going to be just flinging your bodies at, at point A and hoping that something sticks to the wall. They're going to have time to really set up defenses. They're going to have time mm -hmm. uh, to really set up a, a decent amount of fights here for both teams. Strawberry will be coming out here with the two minutes on the clock. Uh, we'll see what they get done here. Uh, hopefully they will not come out on the Moira. Again, that was just, uh, that was just a fool's uh, errand there coming yeah. out from flight. No shade there, but yeah, wasn't getting the job done, especially with the flank coalescence. Uh, got absolutely melted, and yeah, th th this was a uh, this was not uh, advised so well. Uh, looking at mm. Nick's coming out, same, same from them. I mean, they're running. What is it? What is known as the? Uh, oh. Well, I say that. I say that. Are you sending Zarita on the on the road with Pyro? Really, I think you. Wait, do you love? Oh no, you keep changing things. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, I thought you were about to go on a huge tangent about... Uh, I had to uh, sneeze. Oh, okay. <laughs> I you were about to go on a huge tangent about Yari and uh, Sojourn, but well, that's just not going to be the case. I'm interested, though. Uh, Strawberry is opting to change things up. They've got Scarlet onto the Junker Queen. 
and they've got the May as well. So, I mean, it's, it's all about space denial. It's all about bringing somebody in there with Gracie and just deleting them from the fight. Yeah, it was very close. There's the oh, shot no. coming in. The drop is going to be there as Benzi is going to go down super low. But in the end, there is just so much damage coming out from Strawberry right now. Yeah, they have stopped playing around here, Billy. They're taking that first fight immediately. <laughs> and yeah, water does go down, yeah. but that's going to be for that's going to be point A being taken. And you've got the ta the flight taxi service ready to go uh, if you need it. But the big kicker right now is the changes to May. I mean, you are generating your ult so much faster. Uh, the primary fire does so much more damage, uh, and it just locks you up. And that's something that they were not counting on. And really, uh, with the Junker Queen as well, pulling it into that hellacious scape of all that damage, people just started melting like wax. Yeah, uh... This, uh, they're looking pretty good uh, right now as Strawberry, both teams still trying to get to that elusive first ultimate. It looks like it is going to be either Water or Mio, maybe, well, obviously Zarita as well has an opportunity, oh. but hey, the trades come out, Benzi is down, but again, still, uh, Strawberry has this advantage as now they're going to push it with that speed, with the uh, Jagged Blade of Scarlet, trying to pull someone back here, they're already up to this first point. Oh, oh my, God. my goodness, that immortality field just saved Pyro. I mean, and look at this charge. Look at this mm -hmm. charge up here for Scarlet. They're going to have Rampage. Nothing other than another immortality barrier to save it. Kylo still 28% away from sound barrier. They've got to take a fast fight here. Yeah, as uh, artillery strike is going to come out from uh, water. Not going to find anything. Both amp matrices are going, but 300's down early on. As now the uh, overclock does come in from Pyro trying to, to change this fight, but no, they're just going to take an icicle to the body, go down. It's still strawberry, keeps this cart a pushing. That should be the, uh, the ticket to getting inside the foundry here for strawberry. Remember, seven second difference between the two extra inning times. They're going to look and see. Yeah, uh, they're not going to take this mm. last little touch. Blizzard's going to be online. Kylo's going to have. The sound barrier to answer it, but, uh, oh, oh, swaps, swaps coming through. So that's, it had to be why they used the ram, uh, rampage right there, because, I mean, it didn't really need it, but hey, that's a nice main wall. Can they get, uh, the, no, no, they weren't able to get Rod Egger out before they can get, uh, they need to, uh, it would be huge if they could get them uh, before this Graviton Surge comes online. Uh, but uh, we will see. Water's going to go down early on. Artillery Strike now coming out. Blizzard is there. Sound Mirror is coming in from both Lucios. Who's going to be able to find this fight? Can Scarlet eat this grab? This would be the huge difference maker. No, the, uh, so, uh, the uh, difference matrix not there in time as that should be the cleanup. And it is, that is just... Uh, water left on the tracer, and that's going to be the fight. Nyx hold, stops the bleeding in point three. Yep, I mean, they get five points on the board. There is a win condition now for Nyx. So we saw some adaptation come out here from Strawberry. They decided that, you know what, we are going to take this seriously. And, uh, I mean, swapping up the cop that drastically when they were expecting one thing and they come out with another, yeah. Nyx was definitely caught on the back foot there, and they get the work done. So... Nyx does have an opportunity here, and I'm wondering if Strawberry is going to kind of lean back into this uh, this May Junker Queen composition uh, that really focuses on selecting one out of the herd, pulling them in, and going in like lions that haven't eaten for a couple of weeks, because we saw that happen a couple of times. Scarlet so damn accurate with the Jagged Blade, yeah. Gracie pulling people back in with a frightening accuracy. Yeah, that has got to be on Nyx's mind here, especially if uh, they keep it a little secret. They, maybe they're expecting to go back over to that Zarya composition. They keep it a secret, not expecting it, but um, it does look like Raw Dagger's got the scouting, but they don't probably don't see uh, Scarlet at the moment. I mean, now they've got water onto the Bastion as well. So I mean, this is the Junker Queen brawl uh, that is so damn scary right now, Joshua. One wall uh, and just the outlaying of damage coming through it. That's going to be bye-bye. All right, and the shot. Oh, no, water gets blown up immediately. Uh, Zarita is going to go down, though, but... 
Flight gets a little bit over aggressive, but it's still looking good for Strawberry. They've lost players. Scarlet's really low, but they're gonna force Nyx back for a moment. I mean, this is a, a great little, great little first fight. Uh, they've got time to set up. They've got time to really push in. And I mean, the the Jagged Blade has to land. It's got to pull these people in. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now they have to uh, wait things out. They have. Light and uh, Scarlet looking to come in now. There comes the uh, the commanding shout out trying to take people down, and Raw Dogger's gone. Scarlet's been picked though. That's huge in response. Now they don't have that jagged blade uh, capability to take people back, but it's still. Uh, Strawberry's point to hold on for the moment as they're just focusing on everyone trying to take them down. They are going to rotate back though and wait for Scarlet. I mean, they, they've got the, the Ant Matrix ready to go. I would go in with an early one right now and just put the pressure on them. Well, that seems like what's going to happen. And Water takes down Pyro. That's the perfect opening that they were looking for. Soundbear comes in. The Blizzard is going to eat them all up and take them down. They do lose flight in the meanwhile. They cannot afford to lose anyone else. And that is going to be the case. They keep everyone else alive. And Zarita goes down late. Okay, 23 seconds. They've got a dream and a prayer. They've got their own amp matrix coming out there. Uh, I mean, you got to wait. You got to wait for Zarita. You've got to have that ultimate online. Raw Docker is still 20% away from this uh, from this Graviton Surge, and you're going to get to a rampage first. Yeah, and Flight's made a swat over to the Life Weaver as well. Mio's down and out. That might be that. Yeah, I mean, unless Water has anything to say from it, but it looks like Knicks are going to be able to complete the first point. Oh, you, I would have staggered that. I would have mm. staggered that so hard, held Benzie in, uh, and, you know, just gotten free push uh, with with everybody, you know, getting their cooldowns back. Grabs and Surge will be online for this fight. Flight on the Life Weaver, they'll get this Tree of Life up maybe fight and a half. Mm -hmm. The big thing, though, is that Scarlet does have uh, this Rampage online. They yep. need to land a big one. Well, and it is perfect because they can't, uh, Nyx can't really go anywhere. They have to stay on the cart to keep things moving forward and keep that overtime bar at the top. They do not want to walk off this point to give up that first, uh, that second point. It's a nice uh, life. Uh, Grass takes the people out of that uh, Graviton Surge. Scarlet does land a couple with that um, that Rampage. Still waiting to see if they can keep things going. Benzie's taking down Pyro. It's still getting traded all around. Flight is very low and in a tight little area. Can they stay alive? Flight goes down. This looks like uh, Strawberry's going to have to back up. They have time. But I mean, flight going over to this, over to this life weaver. I mean, they have not gotten this tree of life up yet. Uh, they're going to get to the to the scratchy. They're going to get to the checkpoint here. I think they give up this point, and they make their last stand. Uh, they only have to go twenty nine point oh five meters into the into this. Water is so low. They're down. Damn. They do. And oh no, Mio invested their amp matrix as well. That is not what you wanted to see. You got ultimates out from Nyx. But losing that Ant Matrix would have been, uh, for this next fight, would have been huge if you're Strawberry. I mean, you're you're, you're going to get the Blizzard up here. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're going to get the Artillery Strike. And you've got the Tree of Life coming in as well. So, I mean, there are options. And they're going to go ahead. I mean, they need to invest this uh, early. They need this to get there. Block. Early, early, early. They need to get in there. Yes, yes, they need to touch right now. Get there. Okay, the Tree of Life is now on the point, but Flight goes down. They did invest it early on. Now there's the Blizzard coming out, but Waters found no Pyro found three. Pyro! Now are they win the map. Nyx takes it. Oh, uh, F A F O. That's all I can say right now for Strawberry. Uh, you f around and you find out, and damn, did they just get blowed up? Pyro read that like a book and got all the value of the overclock that is crazy they had everything to hold on the tree of life was on the board they had the blizzard they were building up to that artillery strike too but that was just not enough all they needed was the overclock from pyro 
And well, now we have a whole different story on our hands. It's tied 1-1 going into the short little break. Do not go anywhere. You're not going to want to miss more Overwatch right after this. Ticket is yours. Yo. 
All right, everyone, welcome back. It is time to get back into the action. And while the action's taking us to Flashpoint, we're headed to Suravasa. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, we've all had a chance to kind of recollect ourselves. And uh, now we need to push on. Uh, and we're going to have uh, Suravasa as our Flashpoint. Um, seeing what Pyro just did. Uh, here against Strawberry with uh, the evasion of the Blizzard and then the 4K on the back of it with that overclock. I think that we need to see them coming out here uh, onto said, uh, said Sojourn once again. 5-6. Uh, Strawberry loses that to Nyx. And, well, I mean, I did not have that on my bingo card here. So we'll see what actually we'll be bringing out here. Yeah, um, uh, sorry, I was hearing something. I don't know what I was hearing, but, um, now, uh, we, we, we're going to go into this, and we'll, we'll see. Are we going to, s to see what, um, I'm sorry, I've completely lost the train of my thought thoughts. <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing it too. <laughs> um, well, you know what? Uh, I, I like this. I, we're going to be mobile, uh, here with Strawberry. Uh, we're also going to bring the Zen possibly into Bear uh, and really take the take the work down onto Raw Dogger. I think the Raw Dogger uh, has really warmed into the Zarya role uh, and is definitely playing into this matchup with them. Uh, well, I say that Milo's going to go back over to the Baptiste. I like this a lot better. Uh, we don't need to be screwing around right now. We need to be taking this absolutely seriously. Benzie, though, I, I, you get speed. You get the recall, you get the backline harassment that I think that they were just lacking that little bit there in King's Row that we saw in spades on Lijon Tower. Yeah, I cannot wait to see this. As we've got uh, Scarlet uh, back onto the Zarya here. We'll see who can go, come back out on top. Rod Dogger kind of took it to him on this previous map, uh, the previous map of King's Row. As, um,. We'll uh, now see if uh, if it can continue, or does Strawberry come back? But water goes down early on, and that is going to be Nyx already taking control of this flashpoint, building up percentage already. And then now uh, they come in; they've got the rotation back, and they're going to uh, start this uh, capture percentage. I tell you what, three hundred has gotten really, really accurate. Not only with these grenades, we saw a two K uh, come there on King's Row, but then finding a tracer uh with the prediction uh where they were heading that's actually massive so i mean i think the 300 definitely feeling their oats right now as well yeah oh and water goes down already again benzie's gonna find that uh pick on to 300 though so now that gives sober a little bit more uh oh, positioning and some time and space to work with but they need to do that quickly they do because it's already up to 75 percent there's not much longer before this first point is it gone in the way of nix we'll see now as uh they're building up to these ultimates who's gonna get all oh, huge water making that swap over the uh soldier now allowing strawberry to come back and take the point well, I mean, you lose that, you know, evil amount of burst damage that comes with uh, with the Bastion. But I think that this is a lot more in their wheelhouse. You want to be able to reposition, and that's what Sojourn does so well. Uh, it's the escapability. It's the ability to engage and, and change the verticality of a fight as well. And with this Pulse Bomb online, this could be a very, very dangerous fight coming in. It really could, especially with this Graviton Surge. Can they get this uh, combination going, or are we just going to see a stick from Benzie in the back line? They're looking for someone, anyone, really. Can they get that assassination? They, uh, the Overcock comes in from Pyro. There comes the grab, and there's the Pulse Bomb right into it. But no, the uh, Immortality Field does uh, do its part, but it can only do so much there, Billy, as uh, Benzie almost gets that... Uh, ace for the side of strawberry as scarlet takes that last one what a stick i mean i don't care I, you know the immortality will just save you enough i mm -hmm. mean the, tip, the damage is already ticking the pulse bomb gets it done and takes it down and then just the tra the tracking coming from benzi there uh we have lost uh the first point here strawberry taking it one uh and taking a one flashpoint lead here heading up to temple and i mean benzi is going to be that flank that they don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, no, I, um, 
They've got to figure it out. They do have this all, uh, Graviton Surge, though, from Rod Hugger. That will uh, allow them to get uh, some good point presence if they do so choose to use it in this fight. I mean, why, I mean, why wouldn't you decide to? But hey, the Sound Barrier is going to come in early on from Kylo yet again, investing it to try to make that space. But you now the uh, points are unlocked, and um, oh, they've already lost uh -oh. Kylo, and that is that. Uh, that is the uh, the axis of using that uh, Sound Barrier so early on. You can't use it when you desperately need it, and now it is just going to be Strawberry holding on because of it. Oh, I mean, you save. The, uh, the overclock as well. So now both DPS ultimates online. You're going to have a Graviton Surge versus Graviton Surge fight. And Mayo is going to be up on this window once again. So, I mean, outstripped Zarita in the healing output in the mid fight there. And really getting it done. So, I mean, Wobble Combo possibly coming out here from Raw Dogger in 300. Yeah, that is what they're looking for. They've got to change the tide somehow, some way, but no, the Pulse Bomb already comes out. The Immortality Field's going to come in. They are not able to finish up the kills as it is going to be. Next coming out on top. They've got the picks in their favor. Benzie's going to get that recall. Try to keep things going for Strawberry, but well, in the end, Nyx did enough to work to get the point in their favor. Well, I mean, they have their own Graviton Surge now. Uh, and the sound barrier is not online, so this could be very, very explosive coming in here for Strawberry. Yeah, um, it really could indeed. Uh, as there's the Graviton Surge coming in, the overclock in response. But water's going to go down thanks to that Ant Matrix use. The point almost flipped right at the perfect time Nyx is able to touch. And looks like Nyx are going to be able to hold on to it here. Yep, and I mean, we'll have Sound Barrier up for flight in the next fight. So, I mean, you've got one fight here. This is the point where you have to decide, do we want to risk going in and have to invest these ultimates? Or do we just give up the point uh, and, and take our chance at the next spawn? Yeah, uh, I've... You've got it. That is the question right now. If they can get this pick, obviously you invest and try to get uh, the 2 0 up into the flashpoint. But I'm, obviously, you don't want to have to invest too much as Mio goes down. But, well, they do take those two trades for the use of that Ant Matrix as water comes in with those right clicks, taking down three. And Strawberry gets the point back. Yep. And. I mean, that's a great, that's a great fight investment. Just the app matrix comes out there, Joshua. So, I mean, very economic fight. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're starting to find their footing here in India and nothing online for Nyx. This is going to be a very struggle, uh, struggle bus here for Nyx as they're going up against the sound barrier. And losing Kylo already is massive. That probably just about does it there, Billy. Pyro goes down, and yeah, that overtime bar is going to tick away. Now Strawberry here on uh, map point. Oh, gosh. And they, they, that late, late stagger there mm -hmm. on the 300. They just got to find their way towards their next uh, towards their next flashpoint, I think it's going to be Palace coming up here next. I, if I, if my, if my geometry is right, yes, it will be Palace coming up, and they're going to have the pulse bomb and the overclock into this fight. Kylo still sixteen percent away from Sound Bear, so I mean, if you invest early, you could get this easily. You definitely could. You definitely could indeed. Benzi is uh, currently on a mission looking for a pulse bomb stick here. Can they find it? Flight's going to invest that sound barrier. There comes the pulse. No, pulse bomb not invested. But hey, they take Pyro down nonetheless. The Scarlet is so high charged yet again. And that's just going to be the fight. You know who? Um, what hasn't been happened uh, yet? I don't think Raw Darker has been using their Graviton Surge, Billy. No, I think they're waiting uh, for uh, a very special occasion. I don't know. Yeah, it's, uh, been, Scar it's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute. You've got to figure it out here, because you, uh, you, you um, unless they're saving the ultimates for the next map, but I, I don't think that I don't think we have that uh, patch here. Uh, uh, but we'll, we'll see if they can get that here. Raw Dagger needs to invest it here and now get some somewhat control of this point to get back into the front of thing. There it comes out. But in response, Scarlet's going to use their own. The sound barrier from Kylo going to keep everyone up and healthy for the time being and perfectly executed for Nyx finding two picks out. And now uh, they look to come back and take this point. I mean, we're not done yet. Yeah, we, we are. We've still got Benzie, and we got water taken down 300, so the fight yeah. is afoot. 
Yeah, but now Benzie is the gone. Water's the lone man on the totem pole. And uh, they are... Oh, 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 no? Okay. They, they finally take them out. It took them to get into 13 HP without a uh, health pack. But uh, now, thanks to Water's uh, play, they're allowing uh, Strawberry to come back with a uh, somewhat even fight. Now, my fight goes down is not what you wanted to see here now. But uh, hey, they're forcing back. The stick comes through. It is just going to catch the, uh, the barrier of Raw Dogger, but the points flip back. To strawberry and that's just gonna accrue a little bit of percentage it might go back to next but now with the ant matrix out this should be the uh, strawberry taking this pulse bomb out from 300 and oh the overclock doing wonders yet again for next getting that point back in their favor i mean investments kind of weird here uh i mean you know you need to get dead and get out and get yourself a recontest sound barrier will be available to flight in this next fight so uh, you've got some speed options to get yourself back to the point. I think that you recontested about what 90, 95 percent here as yeah. we follow in on Mayo going around the uh, going around the uh, court side here, uh, away from market. They're gonna have a chance to touch her. Yeah, right about ninety five percent is when they, I think they're gonna make their move. Yeah, they're looking to get into there. They're they're gonna make the full rotation and try to they get water out. That is she huge. It doesn't look like. Uh, unless there's some miraculous plays coming in from the rest of Strawberry, it's going to be going to a next flashpoint here. But hey, the chips are not all down just yet. There could still be a change coming in. Scarlet's building up this percentage, or uh, building up this charge. They're so low. They're taking down the flashpoints, unlocking in 40 seconds. And well, Nyx, I have a new lease on life. Well, I mean that's exactly what they needed. Uh, water's going to go down here to uh to the to the crossfire between Pyro and Raw Dogger. I mean, Graviton Surge and Sound Barrier are going to be on the line here for next. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they've got tools uh, to really take this point, really solidify uh, their point as we enter into ruins. Now, this is going to be different. This is going to be different, and, and I, I think that you know if, if Benzi can start getting these assassinations once again. They really do have a chance to take uh, themselves to that point. Nah, yeah, I definitely agree. Uh, but Flashpoint now unlocked. And now the Graviton Surge is coming in from both of the squads. There's the Pulse Bomb out. No more Ant Matrix. And people are so low on the side of Nyx. And the follow-up is there. Immortality Field, again, can only do so much for you. Uh, Raw Dogger does. Uh, and what? 300 finds a couple, but hey, in the end, it is going to be the Benzie show as Strawberry takes the flashpoint. Really using this Big Bang combo to absolute perfection. They're trying to just yoink that immortality barrier out as soon as they can. Um, I mean, really, Zarita has some stones <laughs> when they're going into these fights. They're, they're in the middle of that grab, holding on to it to the very last moment. Yeah, uh, we will see now uh if they can keep this hold going water investing their overclock now does so does pyro now uh well can any of those two t players line up a shot it doesn't seem to be in the cards for the moment at matrix now up from neo forcing back nix for the time being getting that damage out getting that uh getting buying time up to 65 percent here the duration duel in the back line is 300 goes down scarlet does pay for it with their life and the point is flipped over to nix now and that is uh looking good they're looking con in control of this fight and they're gonna be able to take it well, I, I think that for Strawberry here, uh, you you do get the Ant Matrix out and you get the Overclock out. So mm -hmm. two impactful weapons here uh, off the board. Now Strawberry uh, going to be able to go in with this Big Bang combo once again. Scarlet generating this grab so very fast. Let's see if they can win this map out with that combo again. Well, they only really need to win one, maybe two fights here, Billy. Can they do it? There comes the Pulse Bomb out, and it's going to take Raw Dogger out immediately. And that is going to be a quick flip back into the favor of Strawberry. Well, I mean, that's the uh, that that's the one fight that they win there. Mm -hmm. uh, Raw Dogger coming back on to with, uh, with the Wrecking Ball. 300 does have this... Pulse Bomb, ready to go. Flight, ever so close to their sound barrier. A nice roll through, but that's all they're going to really do with the Wrecking Ball. They take out water, though. 
That is an, out, uh, an opening that N uh, Nyx can definitely use, but it doesn't seem to be in the cards now, as that is going to be that. The uh, kill feed is all red. The strawberry takes the map, and now are on to match point. Well, I mean, that, that that's a good turnaround for them. An adaptation, you see it happen again. Water going over to the Bastion. Mm -hmm. uh, probably they weren't expecting it. and They probably were not expecting uh, the Bastion to come out there in the, in the last uh, fight there at Pal or at Ruin. So, I mean, fantastic work from both these teams. Uh, I mean, the adaptation is starting to come through. We're starting to see this mental chess match going through time and time again. And Strawberry coming out on the winner end of it right now, but I mean they were pushed once again by Nyx here uh, in the uh, in the flash points of Suravasa. So for uh, Nyx, I mean I, you definitely got to keep your head high. Uh, I think that they're 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 probably riding on a wave of emotion right now. They need to calm it down. They need to confirm these kills. And three hundred swapping over to that tracer to Echo. Woo! Yeah, definitely game on right now. Yeah, it really is. It really is. And then, well, th actually, this is the first time I've seen push in the uh, the playoffs. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 this uh, st uh, finals playoffs. So let, let, let's see how this is going to be played. Obviously, we still only have three maps. Come on, Blizzard. What are we doing? There is too many control maps. Really. Uh, you couldn't have, you know, made Samoa a push map or a flashpoint map. Come on. But uh, I digress. Push the map type. Coliseo, Esperanza, New Queen Streets are the options. Uh, if I'm Nyx right now, uh, I think that you want to play. I, man, I really like the, the 300 Tracer play um, and Pyro with Sojourn. I, I, would, I would personally stay away from Coliseo. Uh, honestly, I would put it between New Junk Street or New, yeah, New, New, New Queen Street and, uh, and Esperanza. And I think the Esperanza would be the better uh, of the two maps for uh, for Nyx. So we'll see uh, what it's going to be. And uh, well, I get my wish here. Esperanza is going to be that map coming up. So for Nyx, I mean, I think that you lean into this tracer play. I think that you try to lean into what we saw successfully come out from Water and uh, and uh, and uh, Scarlet there with the uh, the big Bane combos, forcing out that Immortality Barrier. It's still just provides such an overload of damage in one in one fell swoop that the teams just aren't able to recover from so if you can answer back with one of that of your own hell yeah let's go in for that yeah uh, they've got to figure it out here billy can uh nix tie the series back up or is strawberry taking the series here and now and uh let uh we'll, we'll find out in a few short moments here also i think that i i also want to you know Think about, you know, does Scarlet bring out the Junker Queen here? Because Junker Queen plays very well here in Portugal. Um, I think that Raw Dogger uh, has really uh, kind of risen to the top here uh, and is really giving Scarlet a run for their money. Uh, as far as uh, the Zarya play, it's back and forth. Yeah, it really has. It really has indeed. Uh, no one's really gotten the upper hand since that first map where um, the... Um, uh, well, well, obviously they weren't doing the Zarya Mirror matchup, and but now, like you said, when they when they swapped over to the Zarya, it's been back and forth. It really has. I mean, I, Raw Dogger looked a little bit lost, honestly. Um, uh, they're on Lijong Tower, and now uh, all gears working in concert together. Uh, we're gonna see 300 back onto the Bastion and Pyro back onto this Sojourn. So Benzie's gonna have the option or the advantage once again. Yeah, uh, as Benzie's making the incomplete loop around here, uh, trying to get into the back. Already looking for the uh, to assassinate from the back, but they are found out for the moment. As uh, now uh, the the uh, fight is breaking out. Scarlet's very low. Immortality field had to be invested. You've got to pump into the heal and keep those tank that tank alive. Benzie so close to the pick on to Zarita there is uh, now the point is unlocked and well we're in that uh, ever back and forth until one team really takes control and well uh, Strawberry is looking for th that opportunity with uh, water on the flank with the Bastion just pumping in this damage taking 300 down Kylo goes quickly afterwards and that is going to be Strawberry finally moving the bot 
I mean, Joshua, that is just patience personified. I mean, look at this. We have both DPS ultimates up in this first long protracted flight. We've got both the ant matrices ready to go. And Pyra just got played. I mean, Benzie was playing a, a game of hide and seek there and, and really won the back of it. So uh, this is an early artillery strike coming out. Yeah, early artillery strike coming out from water as uh, the rotation is uh, well, enough for Nyx to stay alive for the moment. But they're still walking into a lot of ultimates from Strawberry with the Graviton Surge coming in. There's the... Uh, uh, yeah. There's the pulse Damn. bomb, and that yeah, there it is again. The big bang coming in from Strawberry Scarlet cleans house, and that is going to be the fight for uh, Strawberry. I like it. I like it. I mean, this is perfect. That's butt scratch already. Just two minutes and ten seconds off the clock, and they are already pushing through uh, the coast side streets here in Portugal, next to the trolley here, and they've got both their support ultimates ready to go. Yeah, uh, Swore Ultimate's ready to go, and well, there's one of them. Ant Matrix comes out and forces back Nyx. That positioning no longer what you want it to be, and Zarita goes down before they can invest their own Ant Matrix into the fight. Uh, Overclock comes in from Pyro, but there's just not really enough. Benzi did go down. It's still, uh, though, looks like Shawbury has uh, this in, maybe in the bag, and maybe not. We'll, we'll see if uh, who can come in with this uh, next pick in the fight uh but it is just kind of in this mid uh, fight where no one's really doing anything well i mean zarita has the advantage right now i, I think that you, if you yep you spend the app matrix and you burst everybody down yeah then that's just going to be the fight fully going into the way of nyx thanks to that amp ant matrix like you said fight goes down now nyx can uh get this bot moving back into their direction pulse bomb ready to go for 300 so, I mean, I, I think that you want to go rest with this, especially with flight not in the picture. I think that you go in there nice and early and you catch the uh, early defense and just keep this cycle of staggers going on. I think that's something that a lot of these teams at the higher end really need to invest in. I mean, it's so imp one pick can be so impactful. Yeah, one pick indeed can make the all the difference in the world, Billy, as uh, 300. Well, looking for that one pick with this Pulse Bomb available here uh, so is uh, Scarlet. But on a bigger scale with the Graviton Surge available into the back line. Get a lock up uh, Kylo and it's going to take them out. Focus them out immediately. And now uh, <laughs> Kylo's kind of upset. <laughs> a little upset in chat. Getting... Uh, uh, getting solo grabbed, but it works for Strawberry. They take the fight and get the bot before it crosses over to that butt scratch mode. Did it not touch? Is it not right there? It's right Is there. It it's. I don't think it's right there. Oh, it's right. That, that's, it's right at it. Fifty three point. Is it okay? It's point. I think it's point fifty three point five. Uh, okay. We'll, well, we'll, we'll find out next time they get back there. But, I mean, lots online here for Strawberry. The Ant Matrix uh, coming out from flight has been huge so far. Yeah, uh, it really has. That, that Ant Matrix is so crucial. That uh, Artillery Strike, though, uh, not really doing much work at the moment. But, hey, uh, the Pulse Bomb comes out in Zarita's uh, uh, Immortality Field. No longer in uh, a factor in this fight for the moment. Uh, we'll see how this comes to fruition because of it. Raw Dog is so low. The healing is going to be there. But Pyro's now down. Water is going to be stuck and found out no the uh, healing and the immortality field saves the life of the bastion and keeps strawberry going in the right direction oh and they get zarita's amp matrix as well that is bad juju what an immortality barrier that came out from flight there they are going to have sound barrier to contest this graviton surge coming up and scarlet might actually pass raw dogger yeah um they are, yeah, Scarlet is just doing so much work right now, uh, and just getting so much, uh, help from the rest of their squad. Oh, the Graviton Surge does get in there, it's just, uh, he did, into the back, it does lock up Kylo, but, uh, not really going to be a factor in the fight, but hey, still, uh, even though they didn't get much work with that Surge, still, uh, Strawberry takes the fight, and this might be the map. Oh, what? Come on, Scarlet. 
doing them absolutely dirty there, and they've got this the straightaway uh, in their favor. 300 force to recall out there, and I mean, you're gonna have a, a, the artillery strike and another pulse spot here for Benzi. Ooh, and Pyro just gets blown up. This is gonna be so hard for Nyx to even touch the point now. Water has this artillery strike. It's just gonna be used as anyone ingresses to the point, and that's going to be that. Strawberry, take the map and the series in a 3-1 fashion. Oh, man. I mean, it was, it was close until it mm -hmm. wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> it was close until it wasn't. Holy cow, Scarlet. Damn, what a Zarya player. Mm -hmm. I mean, these these were just absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting in the most wonderful way. And I mean, they really understood uh, how to play this. And I think it was the fact that they brought out the Tracer. So, I mean, this is, uh, th this is what I really appreciated from them. Uh, this was such a damn good map from them. It was such a good series. Uh, I think Nick surprised everybody mm -hmm. by taking a map. Uh, off of Strawberry here, but in the end, just the team synergy and the execution, just too much for them to handle. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. Uh, we were talking about uh, the tank matchup being kind of 50-50, but uh, when it mattered most, uh, Scarlet and Strawberry come out on top and uh, show us why, why they're the second seed in the, that division. Well, I mean, here is a confirmation of how we got to where we are. I mean, 5-6 there yeah. on King's Road, the closest map of the day. Uh, I mean, and then it was the Strawberry Show all day long. Nice whipped cream and a cherry on top. Nice wrapped up here for them. Uh, you know, now they're going to be looking to see who they're going to be facing up in their next uh, into their next uh, in their next matchup. And anyway, for them, uh, you know, as I take a look at the uh why well, i take a look at it uh you know they take down uh next year it's gonna be dark sun the mm -hmm. sixth seed mm -hmm. uh or magnolia avenue and oh, uh we'll they, they're playing dark sun we, we, we talked about this billy we no, talked about that yeah, yeah dark sun one three oh i'm looking at a different thing here don't yell at see me. now here here's the here's the uh the bracket coming up for you it's not fully updated i guess teams haven't um you know put in their scores hey bring your scores so the bracket updates so we look uh, smarter uh, I believe that first, uh, <laughs> that first two, uh, uh, between it will be team big dog versus guardia astral in that next round, uh, still waiting for that Lunara Solaris matchup and then short bus versus Hydra. But, uh, like we said, strawberry will be fo uh, facing against dark sun in the, uh, quarterfinals of the winner's bracket. I mean, yeah, fantastic work for them. So, I mean, you know, job done. Uh, we'll see the next round happen next week i believe is when we start the next yep. round of the playoffs uh so you know what time to uh time to rest time to have some fun uh on and enjoy your weekend your job is done here you do send uh next down to that lower bracket and you're going to continue your grind along the side here so good stuff from strawberry here on the evening yeah definitely so with that be all being said, thank you all for watching. This has been me, Joker's Ransom, him, Chef Billy, the production of Rhino, Hippie, and Little Joe. Thank you all, and wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day.